Hey, you guys know the island better than anyone. What's the most magical creature? Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're exhibiting all the antisocial social behavior from the guide. Rolling in laundry, shaking hands, playing catch with objects that aren't heavy enough to throw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why do you think they're making that sound? I think that's how they talk to each other. We thought Yetis only spoke in violins and saxophones. Well, adult Yetis do. But I'm a teen Yeti, and I have different views than my family. Did you know Yetis can camouflage himself into almost anything? <laughs> Never mind. Huh? Saxophone, what's going on with your fur? When Yeti combs go missing from their spot, our fur goes kind of nuts. Uh-oh. The Yetis are doing gymnastics. When Yetis start doing gymnastics, that means a storm is coming. Incredible. OK, they're gone. Camp counselors are witches! Cool! Oh yeah, I wanted to show you this. Is that Susie and the old lady in 1892? Why does Susie look exactly the same age? Mm. Uh, okay, pro tip, if you become best friends with Alice here, you'll be better at magic. Do I have to have a best friend to be a good witch? What if, hypothetically, I want to be a lonely old hag? You be that hag, Mallory. Friendship is by no means a requirement, but it can really amplify your power if you're trying to move a prophecy along. Geminatus Festinus! Give it a try, pigtails. Ah, huh, what? Witches get their powers from being with each other. Being a witch is 50% spell work and 50% getting along. So absolutely no being a scaredy baby, okay? Got it. Magic is all about focus. And your focus is great. Okay, I just have to hold your hand and say this spell. Focus, Hedgehog. Frenorium to Prunium. Thanks, I look a hundred years younger. We were witches, our mitts never touched no dirty dishes. We were witches, normals obeyed our every wishes. We got what we wanted, while you all just got haunted. And that is why I might just cry, cause we're gonna miss it. When we were witches. Oh! Whoa, Nelly! Well, we are officially the guards of planet orbits and keepers of celestial merriment. We mostly wrangle comets and our direct eclipses, but sometimes planets wander off, so we have to nudge them back into orbit. On this planet, emotions are a limited resource, so we have to share them. It's not without its quirks, but our system ensures that everyone has an emotion when they need one. Until recently, someone has been secretly hoarding all the emotions on the planet, taking in emotions, but not expressing them back out into our emotional ecosystem, leaving no emotions for the rest of us. All hail, my beloved ruler. Bow before the king. Oh yeah, we built these cabins. I love sleep. On our planet, we call it disco naps. Great, let's do a disco nap. Woo! <sighs> Finally. Puddle? Mm, is it time to play? Hey, it's the monsters. Oh, man, I love the monsters. We're leaving the island, kids. Goodbye forever. What? Wait! Wait! Our terrifying god monster is coming to visit. Our god monster is a very old school traditional monster. She thinks we should all live in filthy caves underground and run around scaring children. We could never do that to you. You guys are our closest friends. Ah, <laughs> heavens preserve me. Oscar, you're, you're running too fast. 
Oh, I have tripped upon my hose in. One sec, one sec. Ah! Oh, Blanche, you got a little... Gone? It's on your belly now, right there. Oh, thank you. It's just cereal from breakfast. Thanks. No problem. Ah! Monsters are afraid of witches. Come on, honey, you know that. Why are monsters afraid of witches? Why are we afraid of witches? They're teenagers with magical powers. They can't be trusted. And they pick on us monsters because we're easygoing. <laughs> He's thanking me. Ow. With his teeth? <laughs> hmm. What's going on? Hedgehog, are you okay? Whoa, your hands look like werewolf hands. Your head looks like a werewolf head. Ah, too loud! Your ears look like werewolf ears. <gasps> I think I'm putting these clues together. Hedgehog, you're a werewolf! Being a werewolf increases your senses tenfold, letting you perceive lights and colors that you couldn't before. Whoa, it's like I have night vision. We'll give you a newfound strength, agility and sick dunking skill. Oh. You can use your werewolf howl to talk to animals you have never met otherwise. The night whale is one of a kind. Ask him anything you want. How are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen to my soul! Oh! Dance, dance! Cry, cry, smash, smash! Sorry, I gotta be honest. Your scene stinks. Does this stink? Jumping as high as the moon! Oh! Stop trying to get me to like werewolves! I like what I like and I hate what I hate. Do you hate? Tree hopping? Meh. How about running super fast? How about that? You like that? That's right. Ghost! Hey, Ava, would you take a picture of us? Cheese. Thanks. Ah. <sighs> I totally forgot paranormal phenomena can't be photographed. Cannonball! <gasps> Cannonball! Uh, sorry, ghost. It's okay. Get away from my friends! Son, is that you? Oh my gosh, dads! Son, Son. dads! Catch! You must be starving. We were eating some ghost toast before your friends gave us a scare. Yeah. Hey, it's Dave. Can I try? You know, if you're not sure who came up with something, an elf probably did. Wow. Putting pants on one leg at a time? Hey, look at that one. Buttering both sides of the toast in case you drop it. The shouting toot? <laughs> You have so many interesting machines. I wonder what this one does. It's a Snoot Goldberg donut machine. <sighs> Don't talk to me about my ex-husband. This is a Barb Goldberg machine. C'est moi, Barb Goldberg. I'm the head of the Alps. <laughs> How old are they? I'm 323, Ethel's 321, and Bernadette's still a teen. She's 319. How old are you, Barb? Oscar, could you come down here for a minute? Oh. Sorry, you had a mosquito on your face. Whoa, I didn't know about this spot. Let's dance while we look around. Yeah, okay. Hey now, big kids, watch your stride. Don't step on us and make us cry. Swing your partner round and round and watch the elves that are on the ground. Dirt. Are you Oscar? Yeah. Molar Mole. I've got a report of one newly dislodged baby tooth of the molar variety. Hand it here, please. Why not? 
It's a fake. For your sake, I hope you have a good lawyer, you molar-faking swine! You're under arrest by the Molar Mole Fraud Squad. Anything you say above ground may be used against you underground. Honey's a vegetable? Last week was all Tuesdays? No salad for Dave? I know you're new here, Counselor, but all opening statements must be delivered while standing on one leg. Law 751. Oh, sorry. As I was saying... Stop! Law 87. Anyone standing on one leg must also be touching her nose. Okay. Hand it here, please. Baby tooth certificate. That's bail. You two are free to go. Hi. Can I go in and get a sandwich, please? You'll have to check your voice here. Our monks have taken a vow of being very, very quiet. Check my voice? Unfortunately, our sandwiches are so incredible that everyone who takes a bite has to scream out in joy, which causes the Sasquatches to jump in fear. It really ruins the consistency of the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it that you do? I'm a cloud puncher. Oh, I'm not familiar with that euphemism. By cloud puncher, you mean... That I punch clouds with my fists. Actual clouds. Scotty, it took me ages to get this fluffy. Uh, woo! Woo! Scotty, be reasonable. Take that. <laughs> Scotty and her mom control the weather. And every time they see each other, Scotty freaks out and causes a monsoon. <laughs> what am I? Am I radioactive? Is it contagious? You're a glow worm. A worm. And yes, your glow is contagious. That's what glow worms do in the magical world. They bring magic where there isn't any. In fact, no one can do magic without people like you. Glow worms are pretty cool. But wait, how was your night? Oh, you know, another regular old night for regular old Osk. But I didn't mind. So tell me about your night. What did you do? 